Hi, I'm the Scientific Mom. And I'm Cadet Sparkles. And today we're going to be exploring the fizzy reactions between Mentos and Diet Coke. Cat, what happens when you combine Mentos and Diet Coke? Well, it fizzes and then it explodes. It explodes. Why does it do that? Do you know? The little pores, I guess. The exactly. Pores. There are a lot of different suggestions as to why Mentos and Diet Coke react together in the way that they do. Uh, the most popular suggestion has to do with the surface of the Mentos themselves, that there are lots of little pock marks and little divots on them, and that the carbon dioxide bubbles immediately go onto that surface. And as they immediately go onto that surface, it causes all the bubbles that are in the Diet Coke to come up out in a geyser. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We wanted to know, does the surface of the Mentos have anything to do with the spectacular geyser that happens when you combine these two together? We're going to do some experiments to find out. For our first experiment, we're going to test the control of dropping one whole Mentos candy into our 40 milliliters of Diet Coke. It goes up to 60. Yeah, 60. Our next experiment is going to test the surface of the Mentos themselves. We're going to take off the candy shell and drop it into the soda and see what happens. Whoa, that's awesome. It fizzes all up all the way to 60. In our final test, we are going to dump the powdered shell of the Mentos candy into the Diet Coke. The purpose of this experiment is to see whether or not the pores of the Mentos surface are responsible for the reaction of Mentos and Diet Coke. If we get a reaction with the powder, this will tell us that perhaps the reaction is more of a chemical reaction instead of a physical reaction. only spaces to 50. Isn't that cool? So we have done three experiments today with Mentos and Diet Coke. The first experiment we dropped one whole Mentos candy into 40 milliliters of Diet Coke. The second test involved putting large chunks of the candy shell into the Diet Coke. The final test was grinding the candy shell into a fine powder to test whether there would be a chemical reaction that would result from just the chemicals that make up the candy shell. What did we find? Which one gave the biggest reaction? Well, the control, the normal Mentos, uh -huh. just the circles, and then also the huge chunks worked. The That's powder true. only didn't really do anything. That's true. So it seems that the surface of the Mentos candy themselves does indeed have a huge impact on the reaction that occurs when you drop Mentos into Diet Coke. Now that we've done this experiment inside, why don't we take a look at this experiment outside. See you in a bit. We're going to do our Mentos Diet Coke explosion. What we're going to do is we're going to take a regular piece of paper and we're going to roll it into a tube. Then we're going to drop all of the Mentos into the tube and drop them into the soda. Are you ready? It's the moment of truth. We have our giant Mentos and Diet Coke. Geyser of awesome. Watch this guys. <laughs> <laughs> 